The McGregor um, factory was active in the late 1920s, or started in the 1920s, and at that time would have been predominantly Jewish workers because on Spadina that was the center of the Jewish community. Working conditions were not great, and this was not unusual for other workplaces just because of that was the time in Canada's history. Can you imagine it's not a well ventilated building, very, very poor lighting, cramped conditions, and working those long hours either humped over a machine uh, sewing or standing on your feet um, work at, looking after a machine. So the, the working conditions were not uh, ideal at all. The Jewish community were also established where the old Chinatown um, was at around Elizabeth and Dundas Street. So when the Jewish community moved west to Spadina, that's when the, the Chinese settled in the Elizabeth and Dundas area. And then after the Jewish community had moved from Spadina north, then that's when the Chinese moved into the Chinatown on Spadina, which is now called Chinatown West. Many of the newcomers that came, they were looking for work. Many of them were not very well educated, they didn't have very many skills, and their English language skills were very, very limited. So there weren't a lot of job opportunities for them, and so um, working in the garment industry was one area that they could find jobs. And one interesting thing about McGregor Socks is um, the, the factory that was here, there was a, a real movement for unionization of the garment workers in this, that started up in the 70s and, and you know, were really active community activists like Winnie Ng and Eugene Yao who were very critical to, to helping get these unions going. But in the end, only 10% of the Chinese garment workers ended up working in unionized uh, factories. So McGregor was one of the ones where if they got a job here, they were uh, among the the few working in a unionized environment, which would have been a better working place for, for the workers.